Hi, in this video we'll talk on how to create an Amazon F3 console user for a specific need. Uh, and this need is just to be able to manage your S3 account, to be able to upload the files to your S3 account and uh, give a permission to the files and uh, delete or upload them. So that's all. User will not be able to see any of your financial information or anything like that. Just a specific row. Okay. So you need to uh, log in into your F3 account under Administrator and go directly to the upper right corner here. So this is my username. And we go in there to the security credentials. Under security credentials, we want to choose either from this left sidebar panel, users, or just to click get started with I am users. I'm choosing this option. Let's go there. Here you will see the blue button called create new users. So we want to click that and we'll provide a name, something like user1. Click create in lower right corner. The user is created. If you want to give a permission with something uh, on API level, you need those credentials. If you don't need them, you just close this window. Uh, next step that you want for this user to be able to log in into your account is to create a password for this user. So let's checkbox this username and go to user actions and click manage password. I'm choosing to sign an auto-generated password and click apply. Then I want to actually see that password to send into the user that I just created. So remember that we created the user with the name user1. So I want to memorize and just write down in my notepad the username, which is user1, and the password we just created. Now, actually, everything is created, uh, except that we want to give specific permissions to that user. Otherwise, he will not be able to access any of the AWS F3 options at Amazon. So let's hover over the name and click the name. And we immediately uh, go into the Permissions tab and let's click Attach Policy. You will see a variety of different options here. So those are, yeah, just vast majority of them uh, I don't know about. I'm telling you true. But to be, uh, to find the, the one that I'm looking for, there is a filter here. And I'm just typing S3. Okay. What I want is Amazon F3 full access unless you want to give a permission to your user just to read only. I want my user to be able to upload the files and delete them and give permissions to files. So I want to give full access. And I'm clicking Attach Policy. Now the user is created. And the last step, how he wants to log in into my account. And you'll see this ID here just across the user ARM. So we want to copy over this number. Just copy that and paste it into URL looking like this. You see HTTPS. Then I want to replace all those access with that number. So that will be the unique login URL for a newly created user. Let's test it. Let's go to a different browser and go to that URL. I'm copying over the password. And the username is user1. And the password is the one that we copied. And let's click Sign In. And we'll see that we are logged into Amazon Web Services console. And we want to click F3, Scalable Storage in the Cloud. 
once we go there there will be option to see all the buckets that I have in my master account and uh, from those buckets we want we will be able to upload the file so I'm choosing like this and I want to upload a file for example what I get at my desktop okay Depeche Mode I love them and let's click start upload so once you upload a file and you want anyone on the web to be able to read that file to see you need to click here add the file and then click properties and under permissions to add more permission and to add everyone able to open download and click save so here is the process i hope it helps thanks for watching bye